Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. My name is Evelyn and this is the Mom's Path. I'm very happy to have you today in this video and we're gonna be talking about heart monitors. So I'm gonna be sharing my experience wearing a 30 day heart monitor. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so before we start talking about my experience wearing the heart monitor, I want to explain why I had to wear one. And the story starts uh, in December 2022 when I was diagnosed with pericarditis. Um, I was having a couple of symptoms like chest pain. I was having some like uh, weird heartbeats. I was having tachycardia and um, I decided to go to the doctor, to the cardiologist. I was in Colombia at the time and they did an ultrasound for my heart and that's where they found the inflammation around my heart. I did not have fluid. Some people experienced some pericardial effusion, but I did not have effusion. There was no blood around the pericardium area. It was just like dry inflammation. And um, I started having like, um, yeah, I started the treatment for, for pericarditis and five months later, um, I had to see an uh, electrophysiologist. Why? Because I started uh, experiencing some weird symptoms, like I had no idea what it meant, but I was like laying in bed and when I would change position, uh, my heart will get super high, I will get tachycardia just by changing positions like from sitting down and standing up, from laying down to standing up. It was very difficult, I was very worried and I just decided to tell my cardiologist, hey, I feel something's not good, I feel very tired, I get lightheaded, I get like nauseous when I get up, I feel like, you know, palpitations and my heart is gonna pop out of my chest so I would like to get that checked and see what's happening. And yeah, so my doctor referred me to the electrophysiologist, which is the doctor, the cardiologist who focus in the electrical part of your heart. So he's the one who can prescribe like a heart monitor, who can do all kinds of procedures that involve the electrical part of your heart. Uh, with that being said, um, I was to my first cardiologist appointment with the electrophysiologist and I didn't know what to expect. So I started telling him a little bit about my story. I was like, hey, I've been dealing with pericarditis for this time. I've been experiencing some tachycardia. I'm medicated, but still I feel really bad when I change positions. So could you help me and try to, you know, tell me what's going on with my heart? I would like to figure it out. Um, I had to stop working. Some days I would just be in pain in my house, in my bed. I have a baby, a two year old daughter. And you know, if you're a mother, you understand that sometimes we don't have the chance to stop, to rest, to get better. We just have to keep going, keep going. And that's what, that's what happened. So my doctor started listening to my story. Um, he was just like taking notes of everything I was saying. He did an AKG for my heart and he was like, okay, so we can start from this. Uh, we can do a heart monitor for 30 days. And when he told me that, I was like, oh my God, 30 days. Because back in December, when I was diagnosed with pericarditis, I had to wear, um, it was like one day, 24 hours heart monitor in Colombia, but it was way different to the high monitor I was gonna get here but I didn't know so I was imagining this heart monitor that you have to carry around with a bunch of cables like AKG um, electrodes so it was like very like oh my god I don't want to imagine like wear this for 30 days it's the beginning of the summer I'm gonna have my three daughters because I have two stepdaughters that were coming as well so I was very worried like how is this gonna be um, and he told me, no, you don't worry. This heart monitor is gonna be way easier to wear. Um, it's a phone that you're gonna have and you're gonna place like um, the, the, the monitor right here. And uh, you don't have to be wearing cables or nothing. It just connects like wireless and with Bluetooth. And 
you don't have to worry about that. So when he told me that we were gonna be doing this heart monitor for 30 days, and he also uh, wanted to do a teal table test, which is something I've been hearing from uh, for a while, but I didn't think the doctor was gonna want to do it. Uh, I got really happy because that was probably gonna give me some answers about my, you know, the change in, uh, on my heartbeats, like from laying down and standing up. So yeah, that's how it started. Um, he told me, don't worry, this heart monitor is gonna be way, way comfortable than the one that you were like in Colombia. You don't have to have cables or anything. You're just gonna have a phone. You're gonna have the heart monitor right here. Um, you have to have your uh, phone like within, I believe it was like 10 feet distance and you can even go underwater you can go to the pool you can go to the ocean you can shower with it so live your normal life with it and uh, i just finished my prescription yesterday so i sent back my heart monitor and that's why i'm doing this video so i can give you um some tips of like for what to do and like for to protect your skin and how to deal with it in a better way. I'm gonna share a video uh, of how to properly uh, place it on your chest. Okay, so this is the mini slide strip they sent with the package. These are the two monitors they sent. You're supposed to charge them every five days and replace them, so that's why they sent two. These are the two electrodes that you're supposed to wear with a different type of strip that is called mini bridge. I'm going to show you a picture of it. You are supposed to press them firmly in the ends until they snap and they're ready to place on your chest. So this is the phone that you're gonna be using to get all the data from your monitors. It comes with a charger and it has two ends, one to charge the phone and one to charge the monitor. And this is the manual that comes with the bags and it tells you everything about the monitor and it shows you the two different positions that you can use the monitor. So I'm gonna show you a video of placing it myself. All right, guys, so I already have a strip and I was going to remove it because it was already like getting very loose and it wasn't attaching to my skin. They recommend to shower while you take it off or peel it off your skin. But I found this other way that worked really good for me. So what I did is I grabbed a wet wipe, I used some gentle soap and I made sure the water was really warm and I started like rubbing it around my skin and as you see it's working perfectly to remove the strip of my skin and yeah you just need to keep going keep working it there until it's almost off if you have hair in that area i recommend to remove the hair before you place the strip otherwise it's gonna be very painful um so what we're gonna do now it's just we're gonna dry it we're gonna let it the skin dry we're gonna clean the skin again as you see my skin was a little irritated and yep i'm showing you right here how you can like connect or disconnect the monitor from the strip it's very easy you're not gonna keep it so you are just gonna throw it away you don't have to keep those so there it is that's just the monitor i'm just gonna uh place it there and i'm gonna charge it later i'm gonna make sure i wipe my skin again you can use the saline wipes they provide for you or you can just do it with a wave wipe and since i was already like using the baby soap and the water so i'm just like kind of cleaning it up right now okay so we are gonna place this strip in our chest i chose to wear a vertical and we just want to make sure the strip is just below the jugular notch which is the bone at the base of the neck at the intersection of the collarbone so make sure you can identify the area before you place it on your chest and like i said before i chose to wear a vertical but you can also wear a horizontal you just need to find whatever works for you and however you're gonna feel more comfortable that's what's important so now we're just gonna place the strip in our chest um, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes when we try to do it ourselves so you might need to ask for help or you can just use the mirror to help yourself but it's actually just all about practice trust me like after the second time you do it you're gonna be better at it 
Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and like peel the second part of the strip and we're gonna do it very 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 carefully just to make sure we're not gonna have any wrinkles around and we're just gonna place it and we're gonna use our fingers just to press on and make sure it's all around that area I usually have to change the strips every two to three days but I live in Florida so I'm outside all the time and it's very hot over here all year around but it will depend on your activities some people can last up to five days okay so now we're gonna see this sign that says poor skin contact we are gonna go ahead and press the button in the center of the monitor that's to turn it on and the phone is gonna start checking if the position it's correct and if it has a strong connection the monitor and your skin it can take a few seconds up to one minute you just have to wait um like you see it did it and this is what you're gonna see in the screen it's just checking if the if the monitor was placed correctly and if the contact is strong enough okay so here is asking me to choose for the position that i chose i chose to wear a vertical so i'm gonna go ahead and choose vertical and that's all you have to do the monitor is gonna start recording it's gonna be updating all the data and it's ready to go when you see this sign and that's all you need to do i'm gonna be leaving some links down below where you can like find some videos about how to use it like if you have any questions about like the monitors anything or like everything that uh, involves like the use of the heart monitor so i'm just gonna put the links down below and i hope you have a great experience wearing your heart monitor i wish you good luck and i'll see you next time Bye.